this video just going to show you how you can output the list of products by category so in this particular example here i've asked that only uh, categories that have four products or more be displayed so in accessories we have four products hoodies four products t-shirts four products and any category with products with less than four uh, are not output and that's just to keep the the layout of the website um, looking good then what i did is inside oxygen what I do is I do a do action just to execute the function that I created, um, which I call then get products from categories. And then the actual function, you'll see that we do a, we, we execute um, the standard get terms. And the kind of terms we're looking for then are the product category, product cat. And then we have some arguments to go with that. And the arguments here are very simply, order by name, order ascending, and then hide the empty category. So I'm not going to have any categories come across that don't have products. The next thing I do then is I do a for each loop, and I just loop through each product category. So uh, for each product categories as category. And what I do before outputting is I do a count check. So I access the count equals category count. And this here, will then output the number of items in that category. Then it's very easy to say if the count is greater than or equal to three, then output the categories and their products. So, if, um, so for example, if I set that to zero, now it will output all the categories that have products. And if I refresh, you will see now that all the categories are shown. Some only have one product, some have two products, um, and that may not be the kind of list that I'm looking for. So just uh, to keep it neat and tidy, what I said then was anything with a category greater than or equal to three. Um, if we go down a bit further, then um, this is where we output the category name, and also we get the term link. So here using a standard uh, function, get term link, and then the category and the next thing that we did was we said get the category name so we've just um, created a link around the category name the next portion of the code here we look at the slug so we want to get the slug for each category and the reason we do that is because we're going to use standard woocommerce short codes to output whatever we want to output in our list and what we're doing then is just replacing in this case category with the category slug so the good news now is, is that we don't have to um, build the layout we're going to pull it straight in using the short code from woocommerce so woocommerce have a standard set of short codes so on their websites you have this page short codes included with woocommerce and if you scroll down, you'll see tons of short codes that are used. In this case, we've just used one to output um, products from, you know, any category with more than four products. But there are ways that you can then uh, categorize where you want products from specific categories. For example, here you could put in, in this case, categories hoodies. And then you have the category operator as in in or not in so in this case not in those or you could do the same um, query with the category operator in um, and then they have a whole lot of other options here um, where you can change the order by uh, you can even do sorts by terms so here where we have the um, the get terms instead of product category we could also have selected product tag and then we could have retrieve then all the products by um, product tag and then executed a um, you know an output here based on the product tags so in this case i've just kept it really simple and here for example if i was to you know make changes here these would then also be executed on the website and refresh and now you'll see that we have the two columns of two Right, so that's pretty much then um, how you can determine oh, product limit there should just be four.
Um, right. So, so that's pretty much then how you can create your own um, list then of products. In this case, we we using um, the standard layout for our product categories because we've just hooked into the WooCommerce shortcode. So I'm going to set that back to four and four columns. Save that. Head back to the shop. Refresh. And then we're back to the four items in each row. And if we look at this layout and we look at the shop layout, you'll see that they are very similar. So whatever layout we've set here, um, most of those styles are carried across then to the home page. And if they're not, you just need to do uh, you know some minor adjustments to your style sheet um, and maybe just get them looking uh, the way that you want. So that's a very easy way then to include products by category or loop through um, on your home page. If you yeah, if you want to know more, head over to the short codes by WooCommerce. Um, yeah, and then you can set that that up on your website. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching.